How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I've got another BMG tutorial today and I'm going to show you how to make copies of engines on cars so you can modify them and change the durability, the torque, power. I'll show you how to make custom tunes and turbochargers, stuff like that. Now this is a request and I'm not going to be able to cut it up as much as I usually do because I need to get this video out before next week. I won't be uploading next week but I'll talk about that at the end of the video. Let's hop right into it. So you can see with the sunburst, I added in higher RPM limit and I've got forged internals, custom turbochargers, stuff like that. For this example, we're going to be working on the ETK i series. And so this is just a completely stock car. We can take a look at the vehicle config. You can see everything is completely stock on this car. And the first thing that we're going to have to do is open up these two windows. So I have the Steam Library Content Vehicles folder and over here I've got the BeamNG current version, so 0.28. In this folder we're going to go into the Mods folder. You can see I have an unpacked folder. If you don't have this folder, go ahead and make it. So in this folder what you're going to do is make a new folder and I'm just going to name it ETKIZ Spec. That's what I did for the sunburst, so I figured I would just keep it going. And in here, we're going to want to make one folder, go in that folder and make another. So what you're going to do is name this vehicles. And then in the Steam library folder, we're going to look for the ETKI. And you can see that the vehicle name is ETKI. So we'll make another folder and name this ETKI. And essentially what this unpacked folder does is if I make a copy of the engine jbeam file, which I'll show you in just a little bit, whatever I change in this folder will affect the car in game. And whenever you delete this folder, this mod or whatever, uh, the changes will revert and you'll have a stock ETKI. So you're going to look for ETKI engine and I'm just going to pop that into the new folder that we made and open it up. Now I'm using Notepad++, you can use whatever, but I highly recommend this just because one, it shows you the line numbers, and two, there's a feature, if I do Control F, and let's say I have multiple JBeam files up, which I will later, you can search something, like I'll be adding Z-Spec to the end of a lot of these lines of code, you can search Z-Spec and press find all in all open documents and it'll show you exactly where Z-Spec is written in all the open files in notepad plus so what we want to do is for this example i'm going to be copying the 2.4 liter engine so start copying from where these quotations are scroll down all the way until the end right here and so i'm just going to press enter paste this in and you'll know that you're at the top as soon as this orange bar is at the top so what you're going to do from here is i'm going to put z spec at the end and over here this is like the name of the engine you can set it to whatever you want i'm just going to put z spec for this example and you don't want to mess with anything else right now now i'm going to open up the game really quick just to see if that engine updated yet okay so you're going to want to close and reopen your game actually. And the reason you have to do that is sometimes uh, the changes won't take place until you close and reopen the game. And over here you can see I now have the 2.4 liter inline 6 engine Z spec. So I can go ahead and select that. And now whatever changes I make will take place on the car without me needing to close the game. So from here what I'm going to do is go back over to Notepad++. And we can start making some changes. So the first thing that you can see is we have the torque. So you can actually change up these values if you want. Increase them to add more power. So I will do that right now. But one thing to note is if you want to add like a higher RPM capability. What you're going to want to do is we'll press enter. Paste these. And just for this example... I'll set the RPM limit to 11,000. OK, 
Okay, so now I've added the extra RPM limit and I've also increased the torque just a little bit. Now over here, you can see that we have the idle RPM. I wouldn't mess around with this because if you do, there's a chance where if it's too high, your car will just start rolling by itself when the e-brake is disengaged. Or if it's too low, the car might just not start. So now over here, max RPM. I just want to set this over to 11,000 because that's what's written over here. Inertia, friction, all of this stuff you can just kind of mess around with. I haven't personally messed around with burn efficiency or anything. Over here is the exhaust, pops, backfire, everything like that. You can kind of just mess around with this on, on your own time because there's obviously just a lot written down here. But over here we've got uh, cooling. Go ahead and just increase this over to 100. We want this to be like a forged block engine so now we've got the durability you can actually increase all of these values to make it unbreakable if you want that's what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna put uh we'll put 1000 and then i'll just place 99 at the front of all of these same with this 1000 1000 and so now the engine shouldn't break but as far as the engine durability, this is all good. And then over here, nothing really. This is like the sound of the engine. So right here, sample name is, I believe the audio file. So if I'm, I haven't really messed with the audio, but I'm fairly certain that this audio is somewhere in the actual ETKI folder. If not, you don't really have to mess around with this, but yeah, you can mess around with like the EQ you can make it sound deeper or louder I'm not personally gonna mess around with that but again a lot of this stuff you can just go around and change the values and just see what works for you let's see that is it for the engine now we're gonna work on some engine parts so first off I want to search turbo and we have stage one for this example Let's see I'm looking for the stage 2 turbo you can do stage 3 but uh, there's extra lines of code because it's adjustable so I'm just gonna put stage 3 or stage 2 my bad so just press enter paste this in and now we want to rename turbo to Z spec for my example you can set that to whatever you want and then I'll replace stage two turbocharger with Z spec turbocharger. So this part's pretty cool. You can change up the sound effects. So like the blow off valve sound, I'll go ahead and increase that so you can see how big of a difference it makes. I'll set that to 1.0. The hiss volume, this is also really cool. I like setting this up high because you can hear the turbo spooling up. Same with these, I'll just set this to 16 over here set this over to 65 and then over here is the limit of the psi on the turbo so i'm gonna go ahead and just set this over to 40 wastegate start we'll set this to 30 and exhaust power you can upgrade this why not set this to 90 back pressure i haven't messed around with any of this pressure rate psi you can bring this up if you wanted to, but I'm just going to keep it exactly where it is. Damage threshold, temperature. Uh, you can actually overheat, believe it or not, turbochargers in BeamNG. I had no idea until pretty recently. So this is like the temperature threshold. So this should all be good. Now, because I increased the PSI, you're going to want to do the same thing over here. So I'll just paste two extras and set this to 40 and 50 actually we'll just do 40 and I'll put 45 and so over here is the efficiency of the turbo so this also has to do with power you can mess around with these I'm not gonna mess around with any of this but over here is like the turbo sound effects as well so you have these ones and over here is like the EQ and 
just like uh, fine tuning the sound of the turbo. There we go. This one is now finished and we can go in game and actually select the Z spec turbo charger. And now let me turn up the volume really quick. So I'll show you exactly what it sounds like. Loud blow off sound and the hiss is really loud. Obviously it's too loud, but this is just like an example. I don't want to make it too minimal of a change where you can't actually hear the difference. Let's go ahead and search up ECU race. So from here, I'm going to go ahead and copy this right right here and paste this and then I'll put Z spec in place of race and we'll do Z spec tune stage three I don't know stage three it sounds cool now this is where you can change the RPM limit of the car with this tune on so we have the default value which is 6200 the minimum value is 4,500 and the maximum value is 7,250. I'm going to set this over to 11,000 and then you don't have to mess around with anything else. Let's also go over here to the engine internals. So I'm going to change ultra to Z spec and I'm going to name this forged inter internals and now you can add extra engine durability to the car so I'll do exactly what I did earlier just put 99 99 now save that and then I believe the last thing that we want to do is mess around with cooling so if we go back over here to the two folders that we made or the one folder that we made in the steam folder Go ahead and look for oil cooler and radiator so if i right click i can sort by type here's all the j beam just drag copy these and paste it into the unpacked folder and i can open these up so now for the radiator there's the race radiator we can just copy this and paste it in radiator z spec i performance radiator there you go it doesn't matter what you name it this literally is just what the name is in the actual game like what it'll pop up as now we can upgrade the effectiveness coolant volume don't have to mess with that and then the radiator fan volume i haven't noticed any difference with this i'll set this over to like 10.0 just to see if it makes a difference but you don't have to mess around with anything else. Go over here, oil cooler. We can just make a copy of this really quick. Z spec. And over here, you could see oil radiator effectiveness. Set this over to 10,000. Now, if we go back in game, Z spec high performance radiator, oil cooler. We have the Z spec oil cooler. Under the engine, we've got the Z spec tune stage three, forged internals. And now I'll upgrade the oil pan as well. Now under tuning, you can see we can bring the RPM level all the way up to 11,000. That should be that should be it. So let me just save this really quick. And now let me bring up the volume again just a little bit or max it out. Why not? And then I'll just let you listen to the car really quick so you can hear the difference. And that'll be it. So here you go. I had my mic muted, wow. So yeah, we don't have to worry about changing up the transmission or anything, it has no issues revving up all the way to 11,000 on a manual transmission. 
so the last thing that we can do is I, I just recorded this but I had my mic muted you can make a new exhaust for the car and I actually just showed me changing up the, the torque values all the way up to 11,000 because that's the max RPM on this engine and if you want to add more exhaust pops let's take a look and see the engine is right here backfire why don't we just double all of the values just to see what happens and see what happens because i have absolutely no idea how much this will affect the car audio i bring this all the way up oh my yeah okay Jeez, man. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I know it was pretty long and I don't have a lot of cuts in it just because like I said, I've got a lot going on next week. I actually won't be able to upload for a little while, about a week and a half. But as soon as I'm back, I have a plan for a video. So I'll upload that. And then for the next tutorial, I'm going to try to learn how to do full engine swaps, so I'll see if it's possible to get like a V8 engine under the hood, but with all that being said and done, hopefully you guys enjoyed, hopefully this was helpful, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.